I regret nothing. 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 This story begins with the man who once had it all. This is a tale of a man with a fulfilling nine to five employment. A man who's had brushes with greatness of all sizes and statures. A man who's regularly gone toe to ball against all obstacles in his way. All to come home every day to a devoted and loving wife. Yep, this is a man who had carved out his own slice of paradise and achieved what we all strive for, the American dream. But as it so happens, even in the best of times, that little slice of paradise can blow up in your face like a nuclear bomb. And, uh, speaking of dropping bombs... This is a tale of a man only known as the Postal Dude. Along with his stalwart companion, always at his side, Champ. These two have toughed it out together through the thickest and thin. And after nearly losing it all, they come to realize that all they really need in life is their health, happiness, and that white trash heap on wheels they fondly call home. If they had remembered to lock the door, that is. Crap. Damn it, champ. I thought you were guarding the car. Figures. But in these fortuitous times, even when it seems like Lady Liberty has turned her last trick, the land of opportunity could spread her legs wide open with an invitation to new and undiscovered prospects. A steady job, a welcoming home, a loving family, and a car in the driveway. That's the American dream we all strive for. But, as our heroes are soon to realize, sometimes that dream can turn itself into a nightmare.
I'm going to need some money if I hope to get anything done in this town. Maybe there's some easy work to be found around here. Hmm, I wonder if there's anything around here that can help me promote myself. Fuck you, buddy. Fuck off. Ow. My bad. Fuck you. to communicate myself to the masses. Perhaps I should find an appropriate surface to ride on. Fuck you, pal. Ah, the perfect canvas to proclaim my message. Perfect. With this baby, I'll be gainfully employed in no time. Fresh from the tap. size of that thing. Someone must be compensating for something.
Got any jobs for me? I'm not afraid to get down and dirty. If you were getting paid to be a beggar, Rats. you'd be filthy Can't get rich. discouraged yet, though. This is only the beginning of my job search. <laughs> Would you like to take me back to your place and pay for my deluxe services? I see the perfect Damn, job no luck for there. you. But I can feel Daisy. gainful employment coming my way soon. If you've got the green, nothing's too dirty for me. Look, if you really want to work... Now that's job hunting well done. I guess I'd better check out this job agency place. Hope the pay is good. Let's see... Ah, there it is. Let's go see that below guy at the job agency. Look out! Fuck you.
Fuck you. Sweet. Don't tread on me. Hello? Is anyone here? Client, come in, come in, make yourself comfortable. Maybe loosen your belt a little. What's it you need? Yeah, my wallet's feeling a little light right now, wherever it might be at the moment. You got any jobs that pay well? You're talking to the one and only Joseph Blow, son. Finding work is my speciality. I've got all the right connections in this town to put you into the right positions where you'll be obediently performing your duties. Assuming you have the right talents, of course. <laughs> no, no more. Tell me, can you put your ankles behind your head? No. I see. Well then, I'll have to refer to my conventional occupations list. But don't worry, it's all good paying, classy stuff. All I ask is that I take my standard referral fee from your wages, naturally. Standard business practices, I assure you. Come here, let me show you what I got. The city's in need of another subsurface sanitation attendant. You'll get to see a whole nother side of our fine town. The job site's just down this manhole. We can discuss going down to other holes later. An associate is calling for an extra wildlife reclamation expert to assist him. I can tell you're the animal lover type being a big animal lover myself. Meet my associate here and show him you're a man who's intimately familiar with the little creatures of nature. The jail, I mean the local correctional institution, is looking for um, a reformatory chaperone. <laughs> Don't be too rough on their clientele, unless that's what you're into. The institution is located here. Give them a good show of your penal quality.
sweet. show with the assholes and that one jerk guy pisses everyone off. I can't wait. Fuck you, asshole.
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Chase him down, boys. Chase him! Oh, yeah, baby. Put to the head. Stomp harder. Whoa! Hello there, Mr. Warden. How are things in the old pokey? Ah, damn it! You better watch your stinking up on punk, or else I'll lock you up with the rest of this monkey spunk. State your business. I was told you're looking to hire a new reformatory chaperone. So, another wannabe flatfoot who thinks he can last a day in my prison. Only the most qualified and physically capable are worthy of gracing these fine halls. Now look, do you see that eye chart over there? Yeah. Good, you're hired. Now head into the next room, rookie, and I'll instruct you on the proper use of your equipment. It is in this domain I will train you to become a hardened and proficient corrections officer. In front of you is the training dummy you'll be using to familiarize yourself with your tools. Unfortunately, they won't let us use real prisoners anymore. <laughs> that is your standard issue taser with Tom. It'll be your best friend inside there. Regularly acquainting it with the heads of the residents within, using it as basic blunt instrument. <laughs> this form of pacification <laughs> will eventually make your target very not alive. Don't forget we're getting paid by the head, so don't have too much fun on watch. This form, your taser baton is a of a tasering. In this mode, the device is capable of delivering a hell of a lot of volts into whatever you stick the business end into. Switch the baton's mode to enable the taser and use it on. As you can see, this form of pacification is non-lethal. The longer you shock your target, the more effective the incapacitation. <laughs> Feel free to fire a few rounds of that dummy if you must. If you haven't figured it out by now, that is your standard issue pistol. Hopefully I don't need to explain to you that bullets are lethal when delivered at high velocities into your target. The exit code for this room is one, one, and, uh, one. Well, congratulations, rookie. You are now fit to walk the grounds of my prison. Now get going on your patrol. Damn things. Rookie, you hear me? I have a new assignment for you. I've forgotten my damn password, so I can't do a damn thing from here. I'm gonna need you to head to the central security hub to enter the reset code. Now, you need to enter the reset code. I've got it right here. That stuff the works code fast. Is six, nine, and six. Enter that code. Wait, 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 hang on a sec. This damn sheet is upside down. The right code is... Ah, shit! You just activated the emergency prison release! Listen up, rookie. You're the last guard standing in there. I got a backup team on standby, but there's no way they're getting in with the place in full lockdown mode. You'll have to go to security stations in each of the cell blocks and manually input the override code. Each station has its own code. There should be one marked in that hub room you're in. Commit that to memory and head to the cell block first. This 
is doing wonders for my psychosis. Psychosis. some more holes.
Here, catch. That could be considered cruel and unusual, but hey, that's really important to decide. Like dinner. <laughs> Funny, that's what my therapist said. Thankfully, it's not burning today. <laughs> Have a nice day. Just sharing some extra ammo. Ahí está. 
There's nothing like a good bout of indiscriminate mayhem to really get your day going. a cake. Tell you these boys know how to crash a party? And don't worry, I remember to tell them you were in here too, rookie. Yeah, I'll bet. Now, how about the pay for my exemplary efforts? Don't worry about that either, rookie. Your recruiter got in touch, and I made sure to transfer all your day's wages to him. Oh, great. Trust me, you did a service worthy of every cent. Unfortunately, your decisive handling of the disorderly conduct around here has ensured such further efforts will not be required anytime soon in the foreseeable future. But cheer up, rookie. Play your cards right, and one day, you can find yourself a permanent residence in here.
Don't touch me. Watch it, will you? Fuck you, buddy. Sweet. Real men get consent. Sweet. Hold on, I'm coming. I think hey. I can handle that. Huh? Now we're cooking. Thanks a lot. Here, a small token of our appreciation. Thanks. Sweet.
Okay. That'll work. Thanks. If you say so. you, buddy. Ah! Oh, God! Oh, God, help me! I'm burning! It burns! It burns! Ah! Ah! Fresh from the tap. Emergency mayoral alert. I wonder what the trouble could be. Ah, oh, a call for public action. Maybe I'll check it out if I have time. Ah! Hey, buddy, check out the fireworks. Hmm, suppose I can I use this hose. I've already got with this hydrant. You? Another fire's broken out on the side of the building. You're gonna have to take care of that one, too. Job well done, and I even get a cash bonus too. Maybe I should check out these voluntary tasks more often in the future.
That's quite the addicting substance. I'm your new wildlife reclamation expert. Ah, you must be the boy Milo sent it. Just in time. I was feeling a bit peckish. I'm this town's local animal catcher and you're my new associate. We've got a quota of specific wildlife to meet today and I'm busy in here doing, uh, processing. So you'll be handling the legwork. Now tell me, do you have any past experience with handling felines? In a manner of speaking, yes. Excellent. Then you know the best way is to grab them by the pussy. Cats. You gotta grab those pussy cats to collect it. When you bring any cats back, just dump them in that chute over there. You understand? Seems simple enough. We also got a dog quoted to me. Grabbing them doesn't work so well. So maybe you could try those dog treats over there to make them friendly to you. When you bring them here, lead them into that feeding station. I'll take care of the rest. You got that? Uh... Excellent. Oh, uh, and uh, by the way, there's no trouble in bringing back any wildlife DOA. Dead? Is that what that means? <laughs> well, fresh or not, the quota's a quota. Now hurry up. I can feel my stomach grumbling. Well done. That's one feline down. Ah, now that's a tender looking one. That was the last cat. Take care of the dog quota and we're done. That cat name might help you with catching those cats. My mouth is watering already. Looks like meat's back on the menu. That's the last of the dogs. Excellent work, my friend. You've done a great service for our community and our fine feathered friends. I think you mean furry friends. What? Oh, right. The pigeon quota is tomorrow. Well, I'll be sending today's wages to below. Either way, we'll be dining well tonight. And done. Take as many of those dog treats as you like. Frankly, I'm sick of the stuff.
I suppose I can do with a little extra aeration. This stuff can't be good for me, but I feel great.
Ugh. Fuck. Well, well, is this a visitor I see here before me? So are you picking up or dropping off? Uh, I'm here for the job. And what job is that? Subsurface sanitation attendant. <laughs> that must have been a typo. You're a sewer worker, bud. A crack cleaner. A shit shoveler. You'll be waiting knee deep in the excrement of this town's fine citizens. But don't think your hard work is going unappreciated. I'm sure the people up there are thinking of us real thankful like every time they do their business. Now, the jobs you're gonna do are real simple for real simple folk like yourself. I'd help you, but I got a break coming up. Just head through that door, and I'll keep in contact over the radio. Also, if you see any of them other schmucks I sent earlier, tell them they're fired. Oh, and by the way, there's some pretty lethal materials down there. The kind of stuff that'll kill you real quick. So don't forget to put on your hazardous environment suit. But I don't have a hazardous environment. Hey, quit wasting time, son. You're on the clock now. Hello? Are you receiving me? Good. Now you got three things to do around here. Change the broken bolts, unclog the pipes, and fix the pumps. Go and find these things, and I'll tell you more. I hope you die. The lighting's on the fritz in this wing, so replace those old bolts. I don't know how many of you Guess it only takes one of me to screw in a light bulb. Like you're the third guy going in today. Looking around, I ever seen. Fuck off. Watch out for that five rod steam, kiddo. That's the steam. Can't get around it. Maybe you can place something to block the pipe. That light bulb just a little too high for you, And let there be light. I don't feel so good. does liven up the place. Ugh, withdrawal is a bitch. I guess it only takes one of me to screw in a light bulb.
shit. And let there be light. Guess it only takes one of me to screw in a light bulb. Fuck you, pal. Fuck you. Oof. Ugh. It only takes one of me to screw in a light bulb. Hey, that was my favorite skull. Ah. That really does liven up the place. You almost had me worried there for a minute. Now you just have to go unclog the pipes and fix the pumps.
must have had Taco Bell. Ooh, that looks satisfying. Must have had Taco Bell. That's the stuff. Job, 
Oof. Ugh. Ugh. I should plug a few holes. I definitely need more of that.
finish the job and fix the pumps. Wraps that up. I could use another hit right about now. so good. is a bitch. I definitely need more of that. Hmm, I wonder what that could be. Oh, a vacancy has just opened. And by the looks of it, it's the only room available in town. Well, I'm no closer to finding my car, so I might as well check in for the day. Once I'm all done and ready, I'll just go check in here.
one side. Ring the bell twice. Got it. Hey, how about some service here? Ah, our esteemed guest has arrived. Forgive my absence, but your job recruiter has booked you into the deluxe suite, and we were busy preparing your five-star experience. You're surely to be pleased with the spacious accommodations. Do you have any questions? Is there free cable? I assure you, there are plenty of cables. How about a complimentary continental breakfast? Anything edible you can find is free. Oh yeah, uh, do you take pets? Oh, don't worry. We accept vermin of all kinds, including yourself. Now, uh, let me show you to your room. Have a good night's rest, fellas. And, oh, don't let the alley rats bite. Crap.